So now I'd like to talk to you about using the the sitemap and menu controls within the ASP, ASP uh, Visual Web Developer. Um, if we open our page right now, we can see we've got a, a menu div here, but there's nothing in it. Uh, and if we want to move from page to page, we have to know how to get there. Not efficient at all. So what we would like to do is have the links to allow us to move from page to page. If we go through and hard code these links, whenever we want to add a new page to our site, we would have to go change all of the different pages that, are, that have that link on it or that need that link added to it, and it becomes pretty cumbersome. The sitemap and the menu control uh, configure the site so there's one place where you can go add new items uh, or delete or change or whatever you need to do. Uh, so you can do it in one place instead of having to visit all of your pages. Now when we're looking at our visual web developer project here, uh, role-based security, admin, customer, sales, and there's the login page. Uh, I've added a few items in there a few web pages in there. So basically we've looked at our user stories, we've uh, sat down and mapped out, uh, we've done a site map to figure out what things uh, uh, need to look like, what pages we're going to need to have, uh, those kinds of things. And we come up with a menu control that's going to look kind of like this. We would like there to be home, admin, sales, and customer all kind of up here at the top. And then if we go under admin, maybe they can add a new item or edit items. If we go under sales, maybe they can rent or return items. If we go under the customer, they can view the account. Uh, as a submenu, they can pay their late fees. Uh, and then they can reserve an item. So we can see we've kind of got one, two, three levels going on here of menus. The first thing that I'm going to need to add is a sitemap. and I'm going to just keep the default name and it starts out looking pretty blank here so this is what our sitemap will look like when you're using the sitemap within the, the sitemap open command here's the sitemap close it needs to have a node that contains all of the other nodes so a root node if you will uh, in this case, I've left the URL blank. I've just signified it with a dot. And then I can put everything else under that. Uh, it does not like to have multiple root nodes. So now that I have the root node, then I can come in and start to see. Here's home, and it maps to where I wanted home to be. And then admin, sales, and customers should all be peers of home. So here's home. Here's admin. Here's sales. Here's customer, and here's search. They're all peers. Then if I look within the admin, so notice that the sitemap node can open and close itself on the same line. But if you want to have sub-menus, you need to, to remove that close. You need to open it with a tag and close it with a tag. So just delete out the slash. And then you can add in the sub-menu items. Now you can also add uh, description and tooltip if you wanted, uh, and then those would uh, pop out when the, the mouse hovered. Within sales, all right, I changed that from an open and close in the same line to an open and then a close, and then I put the submenus within there. And then we have an open and a close for customer. Uh, and then for the view account, remember we were going to put pay late fees under the view account as a submenu. So I need to open the view account and then close the view account and then in the middle I put pay late fees. So once I've got the sitemap all lined out and all of the URLs are configured and filled in and you can see I've added pages here uh, just kind of dummy placeholder text and I can save up the sitemap. Now I need to add this menu control and point it to the sitemap. So I'm going to get here in the menu div. I'm going to get into the navigation toolbox 
and add a menu. Uh, and I can get rid of those words menu text. I don't need those. If I highlight this and switch to design view, I can see it's here. One of the things I need to do is add a data source. So a new data source, sitemap. And if I switch back to source view, I can see that in the menu div, it has placed the menu control and the sitemap data source. So I, if I check this, so here I can see the root. And if I click it, I can see that the menu items are in there. This is pretty rough right now, but I can see the submenus working. Okay, so things are there. Um, this is oriented more vertical. I would like to have it oriented more horizontally. So if I get into this menu control, I can just change the orientation to be vertical. I'm sorry, I want to change it to be horizontal. And I'm still not seeing too much here. Need to do a little bit more work to it. One of the things I want to do, I want to hide this root node, that enclosing sitemap node. Um, it's not useful to us. So to do that, I can come under the sitemap data source and do show starting node and set that to false. So now when I look at it, so now I can see it's starting to look more horizontal. It's still not incredibly useful. It's still pretty rough, but it's starting to look better. Um, now I can also specify the number of uh, levels down that are displayed. And I can do that with the static display levels command. So for example, if I displayed three, kind of shows everything here. It's not really useful on the horizontal. It's more useful on the vertical. So let's just set that back to 1. Okay. I can st style this using CSS. So I can specify uh, how the different levels look, level 1, 2, and 3. I can have level 4 and 5 depending on how uh, far down the um, the menu structure went. So inside this ASP menu control, I can I can apply these different classes, uh, point to the different menu the levels of menu styles. So I can add those in. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. Pretty garish colors, actually quite awful looking, uh, but you can uh, at least move around. So this is a horizontal orientation. Uh, pretty garish, uh, pretty awful colors, but you can work with that to make it look better. We can also orient this vertically. So if we had a left sidebar menu, we could uh, set it so that uh, the the menu items were running up and down in the left sidebar. So let me just show you what that would look like quickly here. All right, so let's put our vertical menu over here in this left sidebar quickly. So I'm just going to grab the menu control and the sitemap data source, stick it here in the left, change my orientation to vertical, And now here it is coming down the side. So here I can use the static display level. So if I open that up to 2, we 
we can kind of see now it's showing the all the peers and then the sub menus and then you can still fly out for that third one um, and all of this is configurable through CSS now the one other thing you can do and I'll put a, uh, a link in the homework to this you can have menus going across the top and down the side so on the top I could have home admin sales and search and then if I clicked admin at the top coming down the side it would show add item and delete item it would show the sub menus and so you can do that using post Mac uh, and then when one of the top ones are clicked then one of the sub menus it will appear on on the side uh, and I will make sure that those uh, that those links are in the assignments there's also all kinds of things you can do with CSS and I'll put a few of those links in there as well but now if we were to add a new page all I would have to do is come back to sitemap and add it and it will now appear on all of our pages. Okay, so one change makes it go everywhere.